China on Friday launched its first Type 076 amphibious assault ship, the Sichuan, a type of large vessel an expert said is the first of its kind in the world equipped with electromagnetic catapult and arresting technology, allowing it to launch manned and unmanned combat aircraft in addition to helicopters similar to an aircraft carrier. The Type 076 amphibious assault ship is characterized by its large displacement, which is among the top in the world. This means the vessel can carry more weapons and equipment, has longer range and stronger combat capabilities. It is the world's first amphibious assault ship equipped with electromagnetic launching technology. This means it can not only carry helicopters, but also fighter aircraft like the J-15. The news has attracted significant attention worldwide. For instance, the Financial Times said the ship significantly strengthens Beijing's ability to project power globally, adding to China's capabilities in the event of an invasion of Taiwan. Bloomberg claimed that this development occurs as the Chinese Navy ramps up capabilities amid growing territorial tensions. Interpreting the development of military equipment solely as a projection of power or preparation for invasion is arbitrary and one-sided. Such interpretations overlook the legitimacy and necessity of China's construction of this type of ship to protect the country's maritime rights and interests, as well as to maintain regional stability. Additionally, they fail to mention the sources of tension in the Asia-Pacific region. Judging by the military dynamics in recent years, external powers have frequently deployed warships and warplanes in the South China Sea and the Taiwan Straits. Therefore, it is entirely logical for China, as a regional power, to strengthen its self-defense capabilities. For decades, China has consistently pursued a defensive national defense policy, insisting on resolving differences through dialogue and consultation. The People's Liberation Army has also engaged in practical cooperation with the armed forces of neighboring countries across various fields. By providing public security products and addressing hot spots and sensitive issues in a prudent manner, it plays an important role in maintaining regional peace and stability. In the century leading to the founding of the People's Republic of China, the country suffered more than 470 maritime invasions by external forces. Therefore, building a strong navy is essential for safeguarding national security and realizing the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation.